Hello, students and staff of Mammoth Heights Elementary. My name is Mr. Hopelore. You know he's Mr. H. Today is Friday, November 12, 2021, and this is Good Morning Mammoth Heights. It's a marvelous day at Mammoth Heights, a marvelous day for our mammoths. Won't you be kind? Will you be kind? I have always wanted to learn in a school that feels like home. I've always wanted to learn, to dream, strive, become, so let's make the most of this marvelous day. And now we're together, might as well say, I will be kind, you will be kind, that's the mammoth way. Well, boys and girls, let's begin our morning with the Pledge of Allegiance. Please rise and recite the pledge with me. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may be seated. Well, let's get our show started with, oh, oh yeah, that's our doorbell. Let's see who our special guests are today. Well, look who it is. It's Kenton and Mayor, some of our second graders here at Mammoth Heights. Come on in. Thanks for coming on the show today. And thanks for wearing a mask. I'm going to put my mask on too, just so that we all can stay safe. Do you think we can all fit on our school bus bench? Look at that. Teamwork. Well, Mayor and Kenton, you excited to be on the show today? Yeah. Well, I'm so excited to have you here. Let's get started with our show because one of the most important things people want to see the show is to know what's for lunch today. <laughs> Kenton, what are we going to have to choose from? Red. The French, French pot, toast, toast sticks with cheddar, almond, omelet, or mayor, you get to choose or what? The bistro box featuring the grilled barbecue chicken wrap. All right, well, do you guys normally get a hot lunch at school? Or do you bring a lunch? I get hot lunch. Hot lunch. What are you guys thinking for today? Are you thinking the French toast sticks with cheddar omelet or the bistro box with the grilled barbecue chicken wrap? French toast sticks. That's a good choice. Are you too, Mayor? Yeah. French toast sticks for the win. <laughs> awesome. All right, well, let's now move on to our second step lesson of the week. Let's put our fingers over here and say, stop and name feelings. Stop and name feelings. Wasn't that magical? Yeah. yeah. Wasn't that a magical way to get the words in here? Oh, yeah. I think it's magical. So what does it mean to stop and name feelings? It's okay to have strong feelings, but when you have strong feelings, it can be hard to think about what to do. You can get back in control by calming down. The first step is to use a stop signal to catch your own attention and to tell yourself to stop. Some stop signals, Kenton, what do you, you use? Focus. I like that one. Focus. Focus. I like that one. Mayor? Calm down. Calm down. Are you telling me to calm down? Yeah. Oh, okay. No. <laughs> That's not what we're talking about. We're talking about using those words into our own brains to help us calm down. I like those. Focus and calm down. Nice job, boys. Next, use your feeling detective skills to name your feeling. When you recognize your feelings, the thinking part of your brain can start to manage them. Take a moment to decide what stop signal you will use this week. All right. Now let's talk about our birthdays happening today. Happy birthday today to Kenton Mossman, Kaylin Franks, Amy Wynn, Hannah Moai. Happy birthday over the weekend to Cameron Seeger and Kingston Hayes. Happy birthday to everybody. You can come on down to the office and get a happy birthday pencil at this time. But make sure you get your teacher's permission. Nice. Now, for breakfast. Oh, you know what? I forgot to talk about breakfast. Your breakfast choices on Monday are the frutal. You get to choose between the apple or cherry. Have you guys had the frutal before? No. Does it sound good? No. No, 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 no. I guess you'll have to find out. Kenton says it sounds pretty good, but you get to choose between an apple or a cherry. Frutal. For our announcements, tomorrow is World Kindness Day, but we're celebrating that today. 
all across the district to go along with our book, Outside Inside, all across the district, that's right, all across the district, the district is focusing on kindness. But do you know what I say? What? I say, ha, 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 we've been focusing on kindness all year long. Almost all. Right? So make sure to show extra kindness and make someone smile today. That's your challenge during this National World Kindness Day. Also, don't forget the food drive for Parker Task Force continues on, bringing in those food items. Place them in the boxes with labeled with your grade level right on our story steps. Well, boys, I really do appreciate you joining me on the show today. Have a great birthday, buddy. Thank you. Well, that concludes our show for today. I hope you all continue to be up. Positive ambassador. For Mammoth Heights Elementary, exhibit kindness through our intentional words and actions, and by smiling and demonstrating a love of learning each and every day. And remember to dream, strive, become. Because that's the Mammoth way. Hey, boys, how you feeling on this Friday? Because I, I feel, feel great. great. Yes. yes. Have a great day. Let's say goodbye. Bye. Bye. Bye.